5.6, proving triangle congruence by angle side angle and angle angle side. First, we'll start with angle side angle. If two angles and the included, and that means between, the, the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So this is another minimum amount of information that you need to say that two triangles are congruent. This is called the angle side angle. Theorem, we'll shorthand that to ASA, standing for angle side angle. Now here's what it looks like on two triangles to make these two triangles congruent. That symbol means congruent. So I've got an angle at angle C that matches an angle at angle F. And then I've got a side link CA that matches DF. And then I've got angle A that matches angle D. So that's enough information, an angle and an angle, a side and a side, and an angle and an angle. And I use those little A's and S's and A's to determine whether or not you have enough information. So this is enough minimum information to say that these two triangles are congruent to each other. Now the second congruence theorem that we're talking about today is angle angle side. So when you're coming around the triangle, you've got two angles and then a side. So if two angles and a non-included side, so one that's not between them, of one triangle are congruent to two angles and a non-included of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So compare these two pictures here. So see how we had two angles and a side between? Now these ones have two angles, but the side is not between. But this is still enough information. So we have an angle that matches angle D, and then I've got a second angle, angle C, that matches angle F. And finally, you've got a side that matches that side. So angle, angle, side as you come around the, the triangle here. You can go the other direction. So for example, up here, um, this one, if you go the other direction, it's still angle, side, angle. But on this one, um, this is called the angle, angle, side. And it can be written as AAS, where it's angle, angle, side, or you can go the other direction, side, angle, angle, is also okay. You can go in either order for this, um, this triangle congruence theorem. So now let's determine. Decide whether there's enough information given to prove that the triangles are congruent. If so, state what theorem you used. So here's our first one, this angle matches this angle. I've got a second angle that matches a second angle. And then the side length is not between them, side and a side. So yes, by angle, angle, side. All right, how about number two? I've got this angle that matches this angle and a side that matches this side. But what do you notice about the third side? This one's right here for ASS, which is no good. We don't like that one. So no, there's not enough information to say this one. You can see that the side links are not matching. How about number three? We have a lot of information on this one. Imagine that you turned this one and turned it upright. We've got an angle that matches a second angle. I've got a side that matches a side. And now I've got a side link that matches um, included. So yes, by angle, side, angle. But then also if you go around the triangle and, and you match this double side length with this double side length, you've also got SAS. So you have got, this is, these are congruent by ASA and SAS, both. Let's try some more. Decide whether you have enough information to prove that the triangles are congruent. If so, state what theorem you used. So we've got a small angle that matches a small angle, a side that matches a side, 
and another obtuse angle that matches an obtuse angle. So yes by ASA. All right, I can see here that this single marking angle does not match the other triangles, but I've got this one that matches this one and a side that matches this one. But no, these, these last angles are not congruent. So no, there's not enough information. All right, and then this last one, we've got kind of two triangles on top of each other here. And the most important thing to note is that this third side is a shared side. So I put two tick marks, you could have just put one there, but um, imagine that you're looking at this triangle alone. If you're looking at this triangle alone, I've got an angle and an angle and a side, so S-A-A. -A. And then if we go on this triangle, I've got an angle, an angle, A-A-S. Um, so it's the, it's the same, same pattern, so yes, by angle, angle, side, or side, angle, angle, whichever direction you'd like to go. So today was our last um, two triangle congruent shortcuts that we have learned. So this example number three is really a summary table of the different triangle congruent shortcuts that we have created. So what we're gonna do is make a little table here that says define each triangle theorem and mark the triangles correctly. So we've got SAS, SSS, HL, ASA, which is new today, and AAS, which was also new today. So how do you make these two triangles congruent? Well, they look congruent, but how do we add markings to make them congruent? We add markings based on the triangle congruent shortcut. So it's got to be one side, an included angle, so I'll pick this top one, and then a side that's right next to it. So there's my side angle side. Side angle side. All right, the next one we learned was SSS. That's where you know that all three sides are congruent. Side, side, side. All right, HL, it even tells you that this is for right triangles only, so we have to make this corner a right triangle. HL stands for hypotenuse leg, which means that my hypotenuse has to match, so that's the one that's opposite of the 90 degree angle, and then one leg, so I'll just choose the short leg. You could have chosen the longer leg, but if you have a right triangle, and the hypotenuse and one leg match, then you've got two congruent triangles. All right, our new ones today, ASA. So I need an angle and a side between it and another angle. So angle, side, angle. And finally, our last one is AAS. So that's where you've got two angles and then a side that's not between them. So I've got an angle and an angle and a side and an angle and an angle and a side. Angle, angle, side. Thank you.